Trouble in Terrace Town, or TTT for short, is a mod for a mod called Gary's Mod. Basically, if you haven't heard of it, well, you've been probably missing for 8 years. But just to be safe, I'm going to do a quick rundown on how this game works. Okay, so let's say you have 10 terrorists on a server. Two of them will randomly be picked to be traitors, one will be picked to be a detective, and the remaining terrorists will be innocents. It's the traitor's job to kill all the innocent, including the detective, and it's the innocent's job to find and kill the traitors. It really does sound simple, but thanks to traitor weapons, weapons that can only be bought by traitors using special money, different strategies that two traitors can use to work together, and the personalities of each individual terrorist that make this game very addicting. TTT to me has been the perfect example of just one more game before I get off. To me, TTT is made by the people you meet on various servers. In TTT, you don't really need gun skill to win. Well, you need some of it. But a good personality and convincing skills, you can really get out of a lot of situations. Since there aren't really any scripted rounds, I've just recorded a bunch of different rounds and I'm going to narrate basically what happened play from play to give you sort of a feel of what TTT is like. But before we do that, I'm going to go over a few rules that 99% of servers that use TTT are going to have. No RDMing, which means no random deathmatch. You need a reason to kill someone in this game. If you don't have one, you're probably going to get banned or auto slayed next round. Most servers are very strict about this, and it takes a lot to get out of an RDM case. Most of the time, you're going to talk to the person who directly reported you. The next one is no ghosting. Now this one's kind of hard because if you want to invite a friend to your server you have to be very careful on how you guys talk in an out of game voice chat. This basically means if you are a traitor and your buddy is an innocent, you can't tell your buddy anything you wouldn't be able to tell him if you were alive in game. So if you die by the traitor you can't go out of game voice chat say, this guy killed me. You have to say, I'm dead, good luck, and I'll tab out or something. Or you can watch the rest of the match, it's whatever is up to you. So let's go ahead and jump to some of these matches and describe what's going on in TTT. The round starts off with me making a pretty decent decision to try to sneakily throw a discombob which sort of makes everyone in the area jump up on a very open area of the map. I do it, run away, and don't get called out. So, so far, this is good. I've done good. No one's calling me out. I think like two or three people died here. So my next step was not good. I see my T-Buddy right here attack someone else. I of course help him. I think at first shoot my T-Buddy. And then what I didn't realize is that everyone was just on top of the other train right there. This gets me gunned down very quick. And that's the end of my T-Round. For shits and giggles, I'm going to show you what I should have done. Now, as you see here, a fight between my T-Buddy and an innocent goes down. Basically all I had to do at this point was ID the body and walk away and agree that kid was the traitor, not me. But probably because of the tense situation, I freeze up, look at them, run away without saying a word. I could have just said I was chasing kid the traitor, but instead I just froze up and died, so that's cool. Now let's go over a basic innocent round in TTT. As you can see right off the bat, I notice that there is a dead body of the detective and someone is shooting at me. Well, it doesn't take a genius to piece two and two together. At the top left hand corner, you can see that I am speaking. I am making the call out of who is a traitor as I shoot at him just in case I die. As you see, I do not die. Kill the T and the innocent win the round. Hooray. Most rounds are actually wait and spectator and it gets pretty boring unless you're on the right server. You can, you know, watch the action unfold or just... Uh... What? This, this isn't normal. This, this is not normal. All in all, as much as I recommend TTT, your experience is going to differ from server to server. So once again, if this game does seem interesting to you and you play it and you don't like it, try a different server and see how you feel after that. There's a good chance that the mix of different people, the different settings, the different mods that they have on, you might enjoy it more than the last one you played on. That's going to go ahead and do it for this TTT rule review. Um, my final score for TTT is a outstanding 5 out of 5. Never before until TTT was I pushed into social situations like this and I've met a few friends I don't really talk to anymore but it was nice to know them while we talked. TTT will always hold this great place in my heart so I do have a little bit of a bias to it. Back in the day when I was in high school and some nights were getting lonely, I'd always jump on the TTT server late late at night around 2am and there'd always be someone on. I'd play late until 
well, I guess early 8 a.m. and just have a good time. Those are some of the memories I'll never forget, even though it does seem kind of lame. At the end of the day, I think I just want people to enjoy an experience that I enjoyed growing up. So try it as you will. Hopefully you can make some friends like I did and hopefully you can enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more like this and I'll see you next time.